Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the garage. Got some gear out. Today we're gonna to talk about a couple more power products that you absolutely need to check out. So, as you can see, we got the command center back out again. I really should have just done all of this at the same time now that I'm thinking about it. Just so I can show you my power conditioner. So this is a Furman power conditioner. It also has a voltmeter built into it. This is a pretty hefty product coming in at over 12 pounds. It is rack mountable, so you have the 19 inch wide and it's only about 10 inches deep and then just one U rack of height. This has been great for me and for all my assistants working with because it does have eight power plugs on the back. You also have another one out here on the front. It's got your cool little rack lights that are super helpful if you're in a super dark room. And if you are plugging it into a front and back rack, it actually has an option for a gooseneck light on the back to help you kind of see everything that's going on back there too. This was a pretty easy buy for me because I wanted to have all of the things in here. So I have my two mics and of course my mixer. I wanted to be able to have those left plugged in and with just the flip of a switch, have it all power on. So that was an easy fix for everything that would be up on top of this rack. So you're talking about my mixer, talking about my laptop power, which you can see right here, kind of left plugged in. It's all very quick and easy to just plug a couple things in in between and then flip the switch and it's all good to go. The main reason that you have this power conditioner, while it might be a little bit of overkill for us DJs with just the amount of stuff that we run, is that you do get a good look at the voltage range that you're pulling from the wall. And you also get to see the live current coming through, which is pretty fun too. I don't know shit about power really, I'm trying to figure it all out now. So this is, this is a good start. <laughs> it does have a couple options for dimming the light too, which I kind of really like. But beyond that, really its main purpose for me is to protect from any surges or spikes in power, just to kind of protect all of my gear. We deal with a lot of electricity, and if you get a big surge or it all drops out all of a sudden, this sort of provides that middleman to keep all your gear safe. This is not a power strip. This is way, way better than a power strip. A surge protector cannot protect all your gear from some of the crazy surges and spikes that you get. Of course it provides a little in between, but that's the kind of shit that I use for my Christmas lights outside. I'm not trying to protect $10,000 worth of gear with... Not with this shit, buddy. Not with this shit. And uh, definitely not with this shit. So yeah, it's a great way to protect all your gear. It's also really cool to just flip a switch and have everything turn on. I really love it because it's shallow enough that it fits into my command center. Granted, it's heavy as shit, so it kind of makes this whole unit pretty heavy, but you know, I'm working on my gains right now, so. But also, you just gotta protect your stuff. You know, it truly is an investment. Right now, this thing is actually super discounted. I don't know if it's for Black Friday or what, or Cyber Monday, whatever, but you can buy it through Amazon from other distributors for up to 54% off. So I'm a little pissed. I actually might buy another one of these. I think I originally bought it for like $350. Let me see, now I'm gonna dig, now I'm gonna dig. Okay, no, I originally bought mine for $218. I still might pick up a second one because I wanna have it for a ceremony rack. Again, you don't need to protect your full ceremony rack, but it's really nice to just have everything plugged in to have those options of protection, but also just know that you can flip a switch and turn everything on and leave it plugged in, really cut down on your setup time. So that's it for that. That's a really big option for checking your power and making sure that it's correct for everything that you need. But how about a slightly smaller option? And for this, because it's winter and it's cold, we're gonna head inside and we're gonna do it all in the office. Many hours later. All right, welcome back into the office. Got a little bit of warmth again. So the other product that I wanted to talk about today to continue from our five power products that every DJ needs, this is simply an outlet tester. So the main goal of this is to be able to test outlets if you're in an older building, something that you have to deal with in the Northeast a lot, 
specifically Pennsylvania and New Jersey. A lot of times, some of these are really old buildings that were built off of or renovated or added on top of in order to turn it into a proper wedding venue. Not every venue out here is just four walls put up on a lovely plot of land. So a lot of times we run into the issues of, does this outlet work? Does that outlet work? Do we have to go to the one around the corner? Does it have enough power for the stuff we need to bring? Specifically, if you are using, you know, moving heads or a ton of other power or even something as powerful as sparks or a low line fog. So you want to have one of these handy simply to go and plug into outlets to check to make sure they work. And check it out. It's this easy. Green means go, baby. Green means go. So it's super cool to have. It has an LED screen built right in. so You can actually see it's holding for us to let us know and then eventually goes away. But it'll also kind of diagnose any of your plugs. If you have some problems around the house with stuff too, this is a great way to really simply test your outlets, check to see what the problem is, diagnose it, and then hopefully be able to fix it. One thing again, with all the old venues that we do work at, having that power conditioner, just God forbid there's any sort of buzzing internally the way the wiring was done. You can actually sometimes hear that. It happens actually in the home studio all the time. But number one, having that power conditioner is going to make it a whole lot smoother sounding. So you won't get a lot of that buzz, which you can read a lot of the reviews online about it. But also having this little guy is going to help you find what that problem is so that you can diagnose it. And then hopefully just be able to fix it and make everything sound super sweet the way my office does. I won't lie, though. Every once in a while, I get a little buzzing in my headphones. I think it's just because of my Go XLR, probably because of the power from my PC, but... Whatever. Yeah, that's two additional power products that every DJ needs. Hopefully you've learned something today. Again, I am not an electrician. I'm not trained in any power or anything. This is some of the stuff that I've picked up from being a DJ, from being an AV tech. So if you learned something today, or if I totally messed something up, please let me know in the comments below. It'd be really helpful for me. I'm trying to use this platform as a way for me to grow. And also, if you could do me the favor and it's truly... Three ninety nine. dollars all you gotta do is click the like button and hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate everybody that's been coming back for all these videos, continuing to check me out, helping me feel like I'm providing some type of service, and also, uh, thanks for always making fun of my chat GPT comments. That's why man Spinelli for still having that, uh, having that little segment. But yeah, let me know um, how I can help if you have questions about the products or whatever. I'm an open book, and hope to see you again real soon. Thanks.